They're calling you a radical. Now I'm going to take a video of a video for some reason.
my political activism here. So I've been saying that I'm going to dress up like Jesus and go in there with a whip and throw these money changers out of the temple. So the oligarchs... What is your point? I'm missing your point. My point is go after the exploiters, not the exploited. Right. Okay. The left has just as much to blame as the right. Yeah. Yeah. Trump's just a crescendo to freak of this sick country that we live in. The moment we're socialist, it's anti-Christian, it's anti-everything. So, here's the point. So, yeah, when they're blowing out energy solutions in the college, I'm in there and I said, I'm going to dress up Jesus with a whip and I'm going to throw you rats out of here. This hairspray, they Christian told me, he says, oh, those guys right there will go after you. He points the cops and I says, come here, walk over to the cops. What do you say about that? I'm going to do that. And the cops all know me. They're like, oh, no, we look good. That's my home, the Bill Park Lions, my center. This is a big issue. Arrest the exploiters, not the exploited. Go after the enforced labor laws. Then you got to arrest the Mormon church. you got to arrest the Mormon Donald Trump, you got to arrest freaking half the Feinstein, all of them. This is class warfare. This is not left right. This is class warfare. It's, you know, it's same old thing. If you, Wall Street gonna live right there on Douglas Avenue, right there. If you think the Germans have been genocide, you know nothing about the American West, the mass murder that existed here. To put children in cages to make political points? <laughs> and then call yourself a Christian. You got yourself ringing hell's bells. You got, I mean, to bear false witness, the Mormons and evangelicals, oh, you got yourself ringing hell's bells. Hell awaits you, hell awaits you. To make what, political points? To make political points in this scumbag freaking usury country? Usury, buy here, pay here, the Mormon church. 508 percent interest rates here. The crux of Christianity is anti-usury. Nothing more usury than this. But you all go along. You know, everyone's pissed, but look who cleans your bed, who makes your food, who are you're the exploiters. You look in the fucking mirror. Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Simple. I was a stucco contractor here for decades. Big stucco contractor. I refuse to exploit labor. I paid my guys $35 an hour. I, we never had a wall. But if I was to exploit labor, they'd come arrest me. And you want to talk to Yucky Ruzzi right there at the LDSD State Bowling Center, which I was in given two months to live. That's my home right up there in that corner room. That corner room. What a turnout. Oh my God, what a turnout. Real simple solution to all this. Arrest the exploiters. Why are you abusing the most vulnerable? Go down and attack the most vulnerable of them all. Kids? Kids in cages? <laughs> it's so outrageous. Go after the exploiters, not the exploited. Jesus Christ was a socialist. Feed the feed the poor. Heal the afflicted. Throw the money changers out of the temple with a whip in his long hair at these hairspray masquerade party. This was Mexico. This was Mexico until 1848. You, you all quote Polk. Taylor himself, 70% of the United States population were against Polk attacking Mexico and changing the border. He did it anyway. He raised the flag in Mexico City. What did we get by changing that border? What did we get by changing the border in 48? from Mexico, the old Pacific capital, as they walked up and did, I, I stood at that tree, was the first thing the Mexicans did in 1732 when they took this over from Spain, they put the tariff house at Monterey Bay. Go look it up. What did we gain? What did we gain? We got Santa Ana's prosthetic leg. The only reason they were able to do it, Santa Ana had to go back to Mexico City and protect that I, you know, manufactured revolution that was going on down there. Remember, they were communists. They were communists, Diego Rivera, Frida. Frida. Enforced labor laws. This was Mexico. So Santa Ana, when they got to his house, his leg, by the way, Santa Ana's prosthetic leg's in a museum in Chicago, Illinois. Give it back. That's all we gained. This is about a moral compass. It's about exploitation.
It's class warfare. Both parties have participated in this. You participated in it. You know, you sit there, you know, you use this for a political wedge. Kids in cages is a political theory. It's reached an all-time low in the history of the United States of usury. <laughs> Hit them symbols for us, Wes. Right on. Stop torturing kids. Amen, brother. Amen. So, walk inside the Capitol, and I want you to walk inside the Capitol and look at the ceiling. The first mural up is Father Escalani. There's a billboard around here, Jim Bridger. Freaking discovered, no, 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 no. Father Escalani was here long before Bridger. And by the way, Bridger had a freaking native wife. Bridger married Chief Wasatch's daughter. So, the early Mormons lived in harmony with the, a lot of the natives. They didn't genocide them, well, Brigham Young did, but the oligarchy don't mind gold, so he keep it for himself. That's the Bingham Open Copper Mine right there. See it right there? That's it. That's what this is all about. This is about exploitation. This is left and right. You bitch, but look in the mirror. Who's mowing your lawn? Who's making your bed? Be paid cash? Why don't you enforce labor laws that exist? Because then you got to arrest Trump. Then you got to arrest the Mormon Church. Then you got to arrest Joel Steen Dyke so I can be rich. The evangelicals are going to rot in hell. You got me ringing hell. You got you ringing hell's bells. You're going to go to hell, the whole herd of you, if you call yourself a Christian. Child in a cage? This was Mexico. This was Mexico till 48. This is about class warfare. This bird has two right wings and it's spun itself into a ditch. Enforce labor laws that exist. Huh, forget that. Then you have to rest yourself. Great turnout. Stay tuned and I'll get more. I'll give you more history lesson on this place. I'm the grand I'm the grandson of Abraham Hunsaker the fourth. He had all girls. That's it the first. The Mormons the Mormons practice utopianism, communism. 100 percent redistribution of wealth. 100 percent 100 percent We do the same thing now. We restore wealth in the history of mankind, but what do we do? This isn't capitalism versus socialism. This is militaryism. No, let's get a sixth branch in face, which we already have. Put poverty at our feet. Let's go adopt a baby in freaking Africa when there's dead children being mass murdered in Chicago in your feet. Go to freaking Skid Row in New York, or Skid Row in L.A. I'll show you poverty. Are you registered to vote? Yes. Perfect. So, vote in Utah. Yeah, that'll help. Maybe Jen Wilson's got a shot, huh? If she ever did have a shot, it was now. Who's that? Jen Wilson. Oh, yeah. Trump? <laughs> hey, excuse me. There's a 40 slip. I mean, Romney, same thing. <laughs> Romney's not from here. I like all this political fear. Mia Love, she's not from here. Yeah. They're none of them here. Mike Lee's from here, and his father died of leukemia at 48 years old. Dirty Herbert, Governor Herbert's father died of leukemia. He was in the bone marrow transplant center right there with me. He promised he wouldn't bail out energy solutions. You want to talk freaking usury? You want to talk exploitation? How about nuclear waste stored right there with a bailout? But we can't put any money towards fighting poverty or for the school systems, but we can give energy solutions to turn into our nuclear toilet here. That's the ultimate usury. This bird has two right wings, and it spun itself into the ditch. Using children in cages for political freaking theater now. The ultimate law of the United States. Buy here, pay here. Payday loans. Hairspray. Jesus Christ had a buy here, payday loan joint. Jesus Christ had built malls. Jesus Christ had blonde hair, blue eyes. Jesus Christ bombed and droned his own brown people in the Middle East. Well, he must have, because you say you're Christ-like here in Utah, and that's what you do. Fucking stand tuned, you Satan. The evangelicals of the Mormons have turned into nothing but Satan worshipers. They stand the opposite of everything Jesus Christ stood for. Feed the freaking hungry. Heal the afflicted. Throw the money changers out of the temple. Now it's exploit thy neighbor. Kill thy neighbor. Stand tuned. This is really pisses me off more than anything. Thank you to everybody who's participated. Here we go, here we go. I gotta get this sign. Remember 1847. You're preaching exactly what I'm preaching. That's the Mormon Italian Martha right there. My grandfather's Abraham Hunsaker IV. They were communists, they were socialists. 
This was Mexico until 1848. This was Mexico. And I to walk inside the Capitol and look at the ceiling. It's Father Escalani. Mexicans been here for freaking centuries. Why? Because Mexicans are natives. 13,000 years they've been here. That's right. 13,000 years. They're not Spanish. They're natives. Well, they're half Spanish. Some of them are. 13,000 years. Wall Street lived right there. You know his word what line was? The great literary giant. If you think the Germans invented genocide, you know nothing about the American West. No kidding. The mass murder. Exactly. And it drives me. It's now coming. The bounty out. office. Were you taught it when you were young? I wasn't. Oh, I, I was. I grew up, but well, I'm part native. Well, so I grew up on the res. Well, I know the no. true history. And they did teach it in our school system, too, when I was a kid. She, she said, when I was young and learning history, she was reading my books. She goes, I want you to tell me that you wrote this attention. When the Native Americans the river massacre on Balco. So, yeah, yeah, think about it. And so I thought, thank you, Mother. So the Spaniards are like here. You need to learn to speak America. You know where America Vespucci's from? Florence, Italy. That's right. And he sure didn't speak English. He spoke Spanish and Italian, though, and he never set foot here. This is all about that mine. See that hole in the ground right there? That's the biggest gold mine on earth right there. That's the top of Bingham Open Pit Mine. That's it. No, it's the second one. Second, the biggest, that's right. Biggest, one biggest one's in South America, right? Well, that's in India now. Well, how about, I'm the environmentalist around here. How about the Energy Solutions Bell out, turn us into the nuclear toilet when we don't even make it here? Okay, I was in the bone marrow transplant center right there with Governor Herbert's father. You know, one of the most interesting things when I moved here, I moved to South, but what was really weird is that we were in the country, and 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 we were in the